So SCOPE stands for Seamless Care Optimizing the Patient Experience, which essentially boils down to me as a family doctor and other registered family physicians being able to access tests, specialist opinions, home care navigation um, in, a, in a rapid way so that rather than sending someone to the emergency department um, to be managed, we can manage them quickly, efficiently, as an outpatient, so they're not sitting there in the ER for eight hours waiting for care. Now, in the past, I mean, I know ERs can build up, and we always hear about waiting times, but that's more so, hey, I've hurt myself and I don't know what to do. I can't get an appointment with my family doctor. Has there been a scenario as well from your side of things as a physician that you had to send people there and wait on tests, and this corrects that? Yes. So I'll give you a couple of examples. Okay. Um, the first would be, say, a young woman who comes in. She's pregnant. She's about in her first trimester. She starts having cramping and bleeding. So is this a miscarriage or is this just some bleeding that's going to settle down on its own? In the past, I would send her to the ER mm. to be managed because that's the only way to get testing in a relatively quick fashion. If I, as a family doctor, send in an ultrasound request to one of the community um, diagnostic imaging centers or to the hospital even, it can take weeks to organize it. There are some communities where you can get in faster, but you kind of hear about that through word of mouth. So it's not, it's not a great system that way. Um, now, through the program, with one phone call to our expert nurse navigators or an email to a nurse navigator, I can give my clinical scenario. They'll talk to the radiology department at Halton Healthcare, the hospital that we're affiliated with, um, and that helps run the Halton Scope program. And we can get the person in, this young woman in with her bleeding and cramping and her fear of losing her pregnancy um, within a day. Yeah, that, that's a huge part of it. Definitely the speed that you're seeing that you're describing to me is something that is probably the number one complaint with the Canadian medical system is that there are so many waits. I mean, it's great, we're covered, but ultimately shrinking that waiting period does seem to be something that this is pushing forward. So this program launching in November of 2021, since that time, obviously, you know, you as a family physician seem like you're singing its praises and you've seen all positive results here. Yes, overwhelmingly, all the po family physicians who've been affiliated and the nurse practitioners, because we have expanded the practice to cover community-based nurse practitioners who do generalist care, comprehensive care like we do, um, we've had overwhelmingly positive responses. The only feedback, the constructive feedback we've had is have more programs built into this. That's what people want. They want to see this expanded. And we can do so with government funding, right? The government's done a great job supporting programs like these that do make a difference. And obviously with the Canadian population, you know, rapidly aging, uh, this is of a great concern. Now you mentioned the one thing that people wanted more of was for this program to expand. And this is why you and I are chatting today. There is an expansion. So what other types of services are we now seeing integrated into scope? So we're working on a fracture clinic pathway because mm -hmm. often um, family doctors, particularly those who have younger population, actually, you know what, all ages, what am I saying? All ages and stages of life will come in having had an injury where they think maybe this is a sprain, maybe it's something more serious. The family doctor will investigate them and will say, okay, you know what, this is broken. So we need to get you seen pretty quickly. In some communities, for example, Oakville and um, you'd have to send them to the ER to see the emergency room doctor, to see the nurses there, to get the x-ray, to see the orthopedic surgeon, maybe right then and there, or get booked into the fracture clinic. So there's a number of steps to get the appropriate care. With SCOPE, what we're hoping to do is streamline that process because a family doctor can get an x-ray pretty quickly. And once you know that someone has a broken bone and they need more specialist attention than just putting on a brace to help stabilize their broken bone and help them heal. Now you can just call the nurse navigator, email the nurse navigator, and you'll be able to get them into the fracture clinic um, much more quickly and much more easily, right? You're avoiding all of the steps in between. You move directly to 
the care that's required, and the patients walk away happier and well-supported.